Gold Rush Update In the captivating world of Gold Rush, veteran miner Tony Beats embarked on a unique journey that blended the thrill of a helicopter ride with the strategic acquisition of a gold mining wash plant. Amidst the backdrop of soaring gold, prices Tony known for his bold ventures, discovered an abandoned yet innovative wash plant this machine designed by a Maverick gold miner about three decades ago was a 35-ton marvel with a 40-feet drum and sturdy wheels promising high F efficiency in processing pay dirt. Despite being used for only one mining season before it was deserted, the allure of this plant was too great for Tony to ignore. He envisioned it revitalizing his gold extraction efforts, especially as he and his team were struggling to meet their season's target of 3,000 o having only secured a third so far Tony's decision to invest nearly half a million dollar into the plant a significant discount from its original asking price of about 1 million ion showcased his commitment to making the most out of this high stake season the poles potential to simplify and speed up their operations made it an enticing prospect much like moving a dredge but potentially more manageable as Tony and his team prepared to reintegrate this massive machine into their operations their anticipation was palpable this innovative plant not only represented a technological advancement but also a beacon of hope that could lead them to meet if not exceed their gold extraction targets for the season once Tony Beats returned to his camp at Paradise Hill he swiftly assembled a crew of seven men to help transport the newly acquired TRL wash plant this required pausing all other mining operations and dedicating a substantial amount of equipment and manpower to the task despite the costliness of this endeavor approximately sixty thousand dollars per day tony was optimistic about the potential returns once the trl became operational with tony's son mike an expert in heavy equipment at the helm the crew faced the challenge of transporting the 85 feet long machinery to their camp this task became particularly daunting when they realized the ferry they intended to use was only 80 feet long. The prospect of either not being able to use the ferry or having to travel an additional 200 miles to cross a bridge loomed over them but fortune favored. Their boldness the ferry was able to accommodate the long equipment much to the relief of both the crew and the fair's captain once across the river the journey continued along the top of the World Highway one of the northernmost highways in the world the crew had to remain vigilant as even a slight mishap could tip the trucks due to the machinery's massive weight upon reaching the location of the trl tony directed his team to start dismantling the plant they systematically detached the conveyor belt the slew box and the hopper before tackling the massive drum a component tony particularly admired their plan was meticulous aiming to transport each piece back to paradise hill efficiently after a long day of hard work the crew wound down they enjoyed some well-deserved rest in their makeshift accommodations at the road head ready to resume early the next morning tony ever the resilient leader prepared for another tough day motivated by the urgency of the late season and the looming threat of being snowed in which could delay their operations until the next year this sense of urgency propelled Tony and his team as they continued to dismantle and transport the TRL with each component securely moved. They edged closer to reviving their season's fortunes driven by the determination to meet their gold target and optimize the use of their new, formidable mining equipment Tony's plan. To transport the TRL involved retracting the hydraulic support so that the machine would rest on its wheels making it easier to lift the drum and pull the frame from Underneath this task proved more complicated than expected, especially when the crew discovered a steel plate welded onto one of the machine's legs to support the frame this plate had to be carefully cut off to avoid damaging the equipment despite the dangers inherent in their work highlighted when team member Jordan Eagles had a near miss accident while cutting the steel plate. The crew led by Tony's experienced guidance managed to proceed without serious incident with some of the best machines in skilled hands in the business they systematically disassembled the trl by the second day of their three-day mission the team was ready to transport 
the dismantled parts including the drum. On the road to Paradise Hill they secured the parts onto trailers with chains to ensure a stable journey, although the road conditions posed. Challenges with Mike's truck struggling through slushy patches the team were displayed allowed them to navigate these obstacles efficiently as they approached the final leg of their journey the significance of their task became evident the transport and reassembly of the TRL at Paradise Hill were crucial for turning around a season that had so far been below expectations the potential to extract a significant amount of gold from the season driven by the high market prices added pressure but also a sense of urgency and purpose to their efforts Tony's leadership was instrumental in keeping the team focused and motivated Despite the physical and logistical challenges as they neared the end of their journey, the team was poised to set up the TRL and begin mining operations, hopeful that their efforts would pay off handsomely and justify the risks and costs they had incurred in the unforgiving terrain of the Yukon, where the battle against nature is as tough as the quest for gold Tony Beats stands as a titan among miners his recent escapade involving the Acquisition and transportation of a colossal wash plant epitomizes his daring approach to gold mining, a testament to his unyielding spirit and knack for turning the impossible into glittering success. Tony's journey began with a bold move, the purchase of a 35-ton TRL wash plant designed by a renegade miner decades ago. This wasn't just any equipment. It was a beast that promised to revolutionize his operations and significantly boost his season yield, despite the plant being abandoned after. Just one season of use Tony saw. Potential where others saw scrap metal. His decision to invest nearly half a million dollars into the plant was not made lightly, but as any seasoned miner knows high risks can lead to high rewards the task of moving this gargantuan machine from its resting. Placed back to Paradise Hill was nothing short of Hercule and Tony assembled a dedicated crew of seven halting other operations and focusing all effort on this single goal. The logistical challenges were many, from navigating the 85 feet long machinery onto an 80 feet ferry to managing hazardous road conditions that threatened to derail their progress at every turn yet. Under Tony's seasoned leadership, every obstacle was met with determination and strategic ingenuity the team dismantled the plant piece by piece ensuring each component was safely transported across the top of the world highway one of the northernmost routes in the world world adding a layer of dramatic flair to their already intense journey what makes tony beats a standout figure in the world of gold mining isn't just his ability to spot opportunity but his capacity to mobilize resources and people towards achieving a collective Goal, his leadership style is direct and uncompromising quality is necessary in the harsh mining environment of the Yukon. He knows when to push hard and when to pull back, ensuring the safety of his crew while maximizing productivity. As they inched closer to their home base, the spirit of camaraderie and shared purpose among the team was palpable. Despite the physical exhaustion and mental strain, there was an air of optimism. They were not just hauling a machine, they were moving a beacon of hope, a tool that could potentially secure their financial futures and cement their status as one of the most successful crews in the annals of gold. Mining Tony Beats is more than just a miner. He is a visionary who dares to drink dream big and works tirelessly to make those dreams a reality. His story is one of resilience, leadership, and the relentless pursuit of gold, it's a story that resonates not just in the Yukon, but wherever there are tales of risk and reward as the season progresses, all eyes will be on Tony and his crew eagerly watching as they strive to strike gold, proving once again why he is one of the most respected and celebrated figures in the industry. Thank you for watching this video.